are tracking the tropics. There's two disturbances over in the eastern Atlantic. We're not going to focus on those. They're moving generally west. One's got a medium chance of formation, one a low chance. But Isaias is a hurricane now, and uh, this one... Well, it's north of uh, the uh, ha Haiti, and it's over the water. So it's got a potential for strengthening even more. But at the moment, it's a Category 1 hurricane. 80 mile per hour winds moving northwest at 17 miles an hour. Now, it is forecast to move northwest towards Bahamas. You know, they're still recovering from Dorian last year. So uh, there are several hurricanes, I think. So this is not good news. Now, it is going to move towards the east coast of Florida as we get into Saturday, possibly uh, early Sunday. And then it's going to move northeast and quickly move northeast going into Monday late and early Tuesday. So this line right here represents Tuesday morning at 2 a.m. That's that one represents a category one hurricane. Now there's still uncertainty in the track. The uh, possible path is pretty wide, could go offshore, could go inland a little bit, and then it moves away from us as we go Tuesday into Wednesday. That's the latest official forecast. Here's the latest models. Again, many of them now are bringing up closer to our region. So there's a sense a consensus there. But some still take it more inland, and some do take it offshore. Now, to show you the split, the big split, this is a good example. This is the GFS and the European model. Let's take a look. I think the latest GFS just came in, too. So uh, as we take a look, they're in pretty good agreement up through Saturday to take it through the Bahamas and towards the east coast of Florida. After that point, they start to split a little bit. The GFS takes it north. The European weakens it and pushes it inland a little bit. This is Monday morning. Now we get a bigger split. The GFS runs it to the northeast, and this is late Monday. It has slowed down a little bit. It is more inland now, so this is the latest update. But notice the European's still down around Jacksonville and pretty weak at that time. And then after that point, the European brings it up this way as a weaker system. So I think they're starting to come to a better agreement that it's going to be more late Monday, early, early Tuesday for a movement through the area. And hopefully it's inland because then we get the rain and not as much wind. We'll see. Stay tuned for updates over the weekend on that system because there may be some dramatic changes. Now, at the moment, we've got a stationary front in place. Let's call it a cool front stalling out. And so there's 60s way to the north of us up here north of New York, but we're in the low 80s right now. It is warm and humid. We are seeing some showers off to the north of Hampton Roads, a couple spotty showers earlier across the Outer Banks. But uh, at the moment, Hampton Roads itself is rain free. So we have scattered showers up here between Melpha and Chincoteague, a few up also uh, northern Gloucester County, north of Almondsville. Now, Future Track has partly cloudy skies this morning, a couple of stray showers. And then this afternoon, we get scattered showers and thunderstorms. So things really pick up in here going into the afternoon, 2, 3 o'clock, and really even more around 5, 6, 7 o'clock. Heavy downpours possible, some strong gusty winds, and that goes until about 9, 10, 11 o'clock tonight. After that, things settle down, a few stray showers into tomorrow morning. And then here's noon on Saturday, a few isolated showers, scattered showers in the afternoon, a few thunderstorms, and we could see a few heavy downpours late Saturday as well. Now today, we got highs in the upper 80s, Melfa, Virginia Beach, and Corolla, Hampton, 90 though in Norfolk, 92 in Currituck, 94 in Williamsburg. It's going to feel like uh, 95 to 100 with a heat index though, scattered showers and storms. There will be some beach time today. It's not going to rain the entire time. Waves to two feet. Low threat for rip currents in Virginia Beach, but down towards Hatteras, it's a moderate threat. Now, tomorrow, scattered showers and storms, highs near 90. 94 Sunday, a few showers and storms. And again, late Monday and early Tuesday, we'll be looking for that track of East IES. It could change, so stay tuned for updates. All right, Jeremy, thank you.